In this presentation, we are going to start with address modification using index register. So here I have question at the bottom of your screen. The question says, the question says we have to add 49 number 49 with the 10 adjacent pull words in the memory. The 10 adjacent pull words we know that data 1, data 2, data 3, data 4 up to data 10. Okay. So we have to add 49 with every content which we have inside the memory. So 49 with data 1, 49 with data 2, 49 with data 3. Okay, like this we have to proceed. So here I have base register that is R1 register, R2 register I have, R2 register I kept for scrap. So to store the intermediate value, I kept R2 register and index register we have. So here I taken this index register that is R4 register. Okay, R4 register we have that is index register. So R1 register we are taking as a base register. Why? Because we are going to store the base address of the program. So where the program starts that is said to be base address that I have stored in base register okay up to this clear so I am clearing the screen okay now we have the core memory setup we have the core memory setup by these assumptions I have made we have five assumptions here same like uh, previous videos okay five assumptions we have by these five assumptions I have made this core setup this we know already we have seen how to set up this core memory okay so this is the core memory core memory is nothing our ram or our hard disk we can say okay so here i have a relative address and here i have absolute address okay relative address means nothing it is a logical address logical address generated by the CPU okay and also we can call it as relative address relative address okay both are same both are same relative address and logical address both are same so why we have relative address here because CPU CPU generates only logical address. The logical address cannot be cannot be find the value which we have stored into the RAM. Okay, consider this is RAM or a core memory, secondary memory also we can say. So RAM we have here. So we have frames also here, right? So this is different different location we have stored the data. So the logical address, by using the logical address which is generated by the CPU, we cannot locate the location here. Okay. So logical address and relative address both are same I told you, generated by the CPU. That only I have here in this column. Okay. So now by using the logical address we are going to find the physical address that is absolute address physical address and absolute address so I am giving physical address as a P and absolute address as A okay to find these two we have to keep on translator keep on translator in between that that translator knows that the base address of the program okay the base address of the program so for example you take here the program have started from this location okay here we have uh, base address like take this example also 48 in 48th location we have started our program right so that 48 will be storing into the address translator okay so for example if uh, CPU generates 10 okay some logical address 10 it is generating 
so we have to add this logical address with the with the base address that is 48 so if you are adding that we will get the absolute address that is 58 okay so in 58th location what value we are searching for that will be located so like this we have to locate the operate operand sorry operand okay we have to locate the operand like this so we can we can access the content which we have in the core memory by this way so this only will happen inside the system inside the system this only will happen so for this purpose only we have relative address here okay relative address is generated by the cpu and to find the absolute address we have to add the base address the base address of the program so here you see the program is starting from the location absolute location 48 so the cpu cpu generates zero here okay so zero plus zero plus 48 we will get 48 location Okay, 48th location that is our program starts where the program starts that is the starting address that is 48 okay till this we know what is what is relative address and what is absolute address now we will get into the program so how we will write the instruction let me clear the screen soon we will create the screen like sometime okay now by using index register we are going to perform this operation we are going to perform this operation by using the index register so in previous uh, programs and all what we have done not like this we are going to do here here we are going to make some changes in index register index register i am going to keep for increment the address so that's why the topic says address modification using index register okay so in this setup you see i have instruction here first instruction sr 4 comma 4 and the second instruction l2 904 of 0 comma 1 and the third instruction says that a store 2 comma 904 0 comma 1 okay and in some location in 944th location i have value 4 okay value 4 and in 948th location i have 49 and data 1 the 10 words begins from 952th location 952th location it is beginning initially we are not going to make any changes in the index register okay just we are going to make the index register as 0 by using by using sr instruction okay by, by using this instruction so here i am going to write the instruction for to clear the index register so sr means nothing it is subtract okay sr means subtract so sr sr means subtract sr space 4 comma 4 the first is 4 specifies the register number which is r4 register the second 4 specifies the register number which is r4 itself okay so both are said to be registers so we can say this is a register to register instruction we can say otherwise you can say rr register okay so now what per I, uh, what uh, operation we are going to do here the first four is there no that will be get subtracted with the second four which means the content of register four okay the content of register four content of register four means we can write like this content of register four okay we'll get subtracted with content of register 4 okay so the value we will get 0 
okay where the value we will get zero that zero that zero we are going to give into the r4 register <coughs> so now the r4 register contains zero initially the value is zero in r4 register previously what value we have stored we don't know that in r4 in r4 register we have to make a make it as zero that's why i have given this first instruction that is sr4 comma 4 okay okay let me clear the screen okay here we have zero now we are going to perform the same operation what we have done in previous lectures so in address modification using instruction as data in that what we have done that only we are going to perform here the first thing i am going to do this i am just going to add 49 with the data 1 okay so data 1 i am going to take into the r2 register first of all so that instruction you know how to add data 1 with the 49 so what instruction we have to write first we have to load data 1 to r2 register for that what we will do uh, very soon I'm typing here we just understand it okay so r2 register is 2 number 2 it is actually okay comma the offset of data 1 is 9 r4 okay inside the bracket in r4 register we have to give us 0 okay r4 register we have to give us 0 and the register 1 contains 48 base address we have to give right so r1 the register number only we have to give here that is register 1 so what we will what what we will perform here we are going to load the data 1 according to this instruction data 1 will be loaded to the r2 register now the r2 register contains data 1 okay so i am not going to write this data 1 and all here okay so next what we are going to do we are to going to add this so add the content of register 2 with the 49 right in 49 what offset value we have that is 900 in the bracket 0 comma 1 index register value and <coughs> base register number okay then we are going to store back the result so after this instruction the result will be generated that result will be generated and it is going to store into the r2 register so from r2 register we have to move the result to the data 1th location that is 952 okay for that what instruction i am going to give here store back okay store 2 comma that is from register 2 to okay where we have to store in 9 or 4th location that is data 1 the result we have to store back into data 1 to location only so 2 comma <coughs> 904 inside the bracket 0 comma 1 so according to this instruction the data which we have in r2 register that is data 1 plus 49 will be storing into the data 1 to location that is 952 in observed location 952 it will store you know very well how to calculate the location absolute location for the given data that is data one okay in previous lectures we have learned that so now the difference is the difference is we are going to increment the value of r4 register okay how we are going to make this see here i have four here I have 4. This 4 I am going to add with register 4. Okay, If I am adding with register 4, then register 4 will be updated with the value 4. Okay, For that, I am going to write one instruction here. Okay, After performing the data 1, data 1 operation, okay, we have to do this. Which one? We have to update the R4 register. How we are going to update this you see according to this instruction okay so i am going to add add for add we have to take a mnemonic that is mnemonic a so in for r4 register only we are going to store we are going to load okay we are going to add sorry we are going to add the 4 to the r4 register right so 4 specifies the r4 register comma okay in which location we have 
in 896th location 896th location we have the value 4 okay so inside the bracket index register value that is 0 and R1 register we have to give okay according to this instruction what will happen according to this instruction in this location what content we have that will be added with the content of the R4 register so if you want to make this clear so in 896 location plus 0 plus 48 we will get 944 okay so in 944 the location we have 4 right so 4 we will take first plus okay for this addition mnemonic i have taken plus then 4 we have in r4 register what value we have we have 0 so 0 4 plus 0 we will give sorry we will uh, get 4 itself so that 4 only <coughs> loaded to r2 register sorry r4 register that is 4 that is 4 okay now we have incremented r4 register with 4 the value 4 now we have, we have to do we have to take data 2 and we have to add with 49 right this only we are going to perform in previous lectures we have, we have seen that we have to take our data 2 and 49 add with 49 and data 3 add with 49 like this we have to do but here we are going to make this we are going to make this into iterative process we are going to repeat the instruction of data 1 okay first instruction of the data 1 then we have to perform this increment operation okay so now we are going to proceed with iterative process we have to put this into the iteration okay which means loop only okay which means loop only we are going to make this <coughs> okay so for that data 2 i am going to write instruction here same instruction only we have to consider okay now first uh, i am going to make some changes in <coughs> In the first instruction that is load instruction and store instruction we should not touch add instruction the reason why we have to should not touch add instruction i will tell you okay okay here this is for data 2 okay first let me write upside this is for data 1 this is for data 1 and this is for data 2 data Okay, let me make some border here we will come to know which is for which thing okay okay fine now data 2 we have to take see how we will take data 2 same instruction only i am going to write l2 comma okay 904 l2 comma 904 inside the bracket now index register value we have updated with 4 right okay so i am taking here as 4 only okay i am not give, going to give 0 if i am giving 0 means it will ignore the index register <coughs> okay if i am giving 0 here means it will ignore the index register even the value is there no no problem it will ignore the index register if i am giving 0 here so i am giving 4 here comma 1 one means R1 register contains 48 that one con that 48 we have to add with the offset right <coughs> okay I have given like this so the meaning of this instruction let me meaning of this instruction is okay the content which we have in this location it will be loading to R2 register how it is going to load we will see see 904 here we have offset that is 904 right 904 plus register 4 number i have given in that what value is there 4 it is so 4 i am going to give here plus content of base register what we have here that is 48 so 48 i am going to take here so equal to if you are adding these three 
we will get the we will get 956 the value 956 we will get which is the absolute location for the data 2 sorry which is the absolute location for the data 2 see i am not taken this okay just i consider the previous instruction just i added it, just i updated the index register value okay so instead of taking this relative address directly just i gone through i gone through the first instruction by updating the register r4 that is register 4 with the 4 the value 4 so it gives me the data tooth location that is 956 okay so in this method only we are going to solve data 2 data 3 data 4 data 5 up to data 10 okay <coughs> okay we will complete this instruction so after this the instruction that uh, in data 2 will be added to the r2 register right so now we have to perform addition operation so a register 2 comma 900 where we have uh, 49 in the location 948 so after value 900 then open the bracket index register value see already i told you if you are giving zero it will ignore this here we have to ignore this because we have 49 in 900 location that is relative address offset value is 900 if you are adding 900 with 48 we will get 948 but if i am giving 4 here if i am giving 4 here then it will be incremented by 4 so we will get 952th location instead of getting 49th location so that we should not give 4 here we have to proceed with 0 okay 0 we have to give and comma 1 the base address value is the same <coughs> okay so according to this what will happen the 49 will come from this location that is 900 0 comma 1 it gives us 49 the value 49 so the in, in register 2 we have data 2 okay data 2 we have in register 2 so this will be added and it will be stored into the register 2 itself so after then what we have to do we have to store back the result into the core memory so store back okay 2 comma where we have to store in data truth location so i am taking this instruction okay i am going to update this so 904 so 904 here what we have that only i am writing but inside the bracket we have to give 4 here already i told you we are going to make some changes in load load instruction and store instruction itself not in addition instru instruction okay so 4 i am giving here comma register 1 so what it says in this location we have data 2 data 2 we have right okay we are going to store the resultant value into the data 2 itself right so that i am given this instruction if you are calculating this absolute address we will get 956 only okay so i am keeping a uh, this thing to your side okay you have to calculate this you have to calculate this okay it will give us 956 okay as we done here as we done here same thing it is going to give us so here what value what content we have in r2 register that will be storing into the in this location in core memory already i told you here and all it will work in this way from right to left okay but here if you are giving store instruction it will go from left to right which means register to core memory here register to core memory here core memory to register okay here also core memory to register here register to core memory if you are giving store instruction okay after performing data 2 we have to increment register 4 for that what instruction we have to write same only what we have taken here same thing only we are going to take we are going to do here 
so we have to look for 4 in the value 4 the value 4 is in the location 944 so that I am going to take here how I am going to take you see just I am going to add add mnemonic 4 comma ok in which location we have 896 is the offset so in that relative address we have 896 inside the bracket we have to give 0 ok we have to give 0 why I am giving 0 here because when you are adding 896 with 48 we have to get 944 if you are giving 4 here then 896 plus 48 plus 4 we have to take if you are taking that it will go 948 so that we need only 4 right so to get the value 4 we have to give index register value as 0 ok then R1 register value that is 48 if you are giving instruction like this we will calculate here once I will calculate and tell you how it will work see in this location let me take this in this location we will get value 4 ok and the value 4 will be added to the content of the register 4 ok what value we will get from this location we will get 4 right plus already in R4 register we have content what content we have that is value 4 right that will be added with this so 4 plus 4 what we will get we will get 8 ok we will get 8 so now for data 3 you have to make instruction ok data 3 you have to make instruction let me clear the screen ok data 3 you have to make instruction you have to make and one more thing if you are th seeing one thing here we have updated with 4 here we have updated with 8 after completing the data 3 we will update it with 12 the register value R4, R4 register contains 12 after performing data 4 we will update the register value that will be 16 so 4 every time 4 number 4 is incrementing right number 4 is incrementing here we have 4 here we have 8 here we have 12 here we have 16 ok so it is incremented by 4 only why we are incrementing by 4 that is one reason here that is one question rising here why that reason we will see see the data 1 2 3 everything is there for that already I told you it is taking 4 bytes right 4 bytes we have allocated in question clearly they have mentioned uh, contiguous full words full words means 32 bits full words means 32 bits 32 bits means 4 bytes full words means 32 bits 32 bits we can say that is 4 bytes that's why I am incrementing ok by the value 4 ok so this is the reason I am incrementing by the value 4 here so every, every, every time incrementing the R index register by 4 then I will get 1 by 1 data data 1 data 1 uh, we, we won't get with data 1 first of all we are making index register as 0 and data 2 we will get data 3 data 4 data 5 up to data 10 we will get okay so this is the thing all about the address modification using index register just we have made an, made some uh, modification in address by these instructions okay by this incrementing instructions okay by using index register index register i used for that to make some changes in modification in instruction okay this is all about index register address modification thank you